error 1780 disk 0 fail F1 to resume this should let me change the BIOS settings set up loaded now I can change the settings I can see the hard drive is already configured for type 2 so clearly there was something wrong with the hard drive there seem to be six Torx T15 screws at the back so I'll remove them now all the switch and jumper settings are on the inside of the case so that's convenient time to remove the hard drive there's normally a screw up here but it was already missing So it should just slide out with a bit of force. Careful not to break the cables. The 20 meg Connor drive has been removed. Let's test it with an external power supply. It's not a good sound. I declare this drive dead. Time to go rummaging in the box of old hard drives. I decided to use an 80 meg IBM drive. I attached some brackets that I stole from an old MFM drive. I looked up the model number and I found out the drive has 10 heads, 17 sectors, which happens to be type 27 in the compact portable 3 setup. So I can use this drive without any annoying disk manager software. I need to change the hard drive to type 27. Let's see what floppy drive options it supports. Ah oh, cool, it does support 1.44 meg 3.5 inch. The new hard drive is installed, but let's just say it's a lot easier to slide out than it is to slide in. It's also a little bit loose since I was only able to line up two screw holes. I can already hear the new hard drive powering up. It's working. Let's play Paku Paku. Paku. 